Color Crew, aka Tag Dow LLC, just released its new community paper, and there are some big, exciting updates. Let's start with the liquidity event. 80% of all rewards will be going to the individual staker or farmer. This is great news because there are typically more stakers than farmers, and this update entices more people to participate. As we already know, farming will yield twice the tag rewards as staking because when you farm, you're combining pairs of two tokens. That said, the pairs that you'll be able to use from day one have changed dramatically. Instead of just tagging collar, CP1.5 announced the following pair opportunities. Eligible pairs are collar and eth, collar and hanu, collar and tag, tag and eth, and tag and hanu. In case you need a friendly reminder, Collar is our publicly available token. Tag will be our rewards token as well as our future governance token for the DAO. And Hanu, which you really should become familiar with, is our strategic partner Goji Crypto's publicly available token. Speaking of which, CP1.5 has formally announced what we have all been waiting for, the big bonus rewards. The liquidity event will run for 120 days. During that time, your rewards will be doubled. That's right, if you were to farm during the liquidity event, you'd get 4x the normal reward distribution of a staker during the period after the liquidity event. Let's pause for a second because this is really important. TAG will have in-game utility and be the future governance token post-liquidity event. Here's a graphic to represent the overall tag distribution over the next 60 months. Don't miss out on the opportunity to load your bags with cheap tag because this token is the future of our ecosystem. Let's move on and see if we can find any other Easter eggs. So in CP1.4, it talks about Tag Dow LLC's main project, which is of course ColorQuest, and of course its primary assets. One, two, three, four, five of them. Hmm, but in CP 1.5, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I wonder what the change is. Oh well, it's probably nothing. So, as we've already discussed, our tag token is the key to the future of our DAO. And we want everyone to have a say in the future, so we've committed 15% of the one-time tag allocations to our Color Quest players. That means that not only can you receive tag through participating in our liquidity event, but you'll be able to win it right within Color Quest. A large portion will also be committed to the DAO treasury, which you control, so you can vote in the future to return more tag to be rewarded in the game, or be used for any other purpose that's put to vote by the DAO. The next update is related to the minting of Sparkies. Our NFT marketplace is on the way. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can stay tuned for updates about that. We've voted to allocate 1.25% of Sparkies from each of our four NFT release phases for future strategic partnerships. If you've been paying attention to the metaverse space, you know there are some very big partnerships happening. After all, that's what the metaverse is all about. In fact, our very own ceremonial CEO was prestigiously selected to join the Metaverse Interoperability Group, so he'll remain on the cutting edge of this forefront. What does this mean? Metaverses within metaverses and cross-metaverse token usability. You see, the value of our tokens will go far beyond just the Collar ecosystem alone. We'll have widespread utility. Reddit founder said most games will be play to earn in the next five years and color quests will be at the front and center. The last significant chain we wanted to bring your attention to is the land. Just like with Sparky's, a small portion of land plots will be allocated towards future strategic partnerships, but also the number of land plots will increase from 90,000 to 127,000. This will allow more people to own land where they can house their Sparky, run real-world businesses, host minigames, and much, much more. 